The Adventures of Anya, Chapter 15, Castle in the Night. As dusk settled upon the land, casting its ethereal hues upon the surroundings, a radiant full moon emerged from behind the clouds. With each step, Anya, Barry, and Coco ascended a hill, their hearts pounding with anticipation. When they reached the top of a lofty hill, their eyes fixed upon a distant silhouette of grandeur, the Barbaro Castle. Look, that's the Barbaro Castle, Anya exclaimed with excitement. Princess Alyssa must be held captive there. The atmosphere grew still, broken only by the haunting calls of owls, the rhythmic chirping of crickets, and the enchanting melodies of nightingales. So this is Barbaro Castle in the Night. Scary, dark, mystical, as Karen Tanaka tells us. Feel that frightening feeling, this imposing, grand castle over you, and that scary atmosphere of not quite being able to see things. That's why there's so many low notes in this one. We start pianissimo with this arpeggio. And that arpeggio is not so easy because you have to cross your hand to get there. And it's very easy for the left hand when it crosses over to suddenly be too loud. Right? It would be so easy to attack it just a little bit too much. So when you practice it, even though there's that crescendo, I practice it slowly and make sure you control the volume on that left hand. And once you get to the top, I think everything here should feel long and like it, it has no attacks. It's just all kind of hovering in the air. So this can get held. This, even though it's a quarter note, should be really held, this low note. Long pedals. When she has pedal changes, you can just do half changes some of the time. to give it that kind of mysterioso character. And you'll do the same thing for this next phrase, but grow as you do it. And I want to point out one other place. At the very end, this idea comes back, right? After we've had some moving moments, uh, this section. And then we're back 
to this. So one of the tricks is to get that tempo right. It's a slower tempo than where you've reached. So use those last couple of quarter notes where she writes allargando to slow yourself back down. And then these arpeggios I found a little bit tricky to voice. I think it's nice to hear both the bottom and the top quite a bit. It gives it a kind of a feeling of, of uh, big qu quality sound, but it also is obviously much easier to do the way I did it just now without the left hand. So practice it that way so that you get a feeling for how you want it to sound. Keep those pinkies nice and curved so that you can really control the quality. And then you can add the left hand again with length. They're, they're, they're quarter notes, but they're long quarter notes. <laughs> I don't make a really clean break with the pedal each time. I kind of let these low Fs stay in the pedal a little bit and just ring. It gives that very imposing feeling of this big castle. And when you get to the end, there you can finally find maybe some beauty, maybe some rest, because of course the minor chord here, still very scary, but now we have a little bit of resolution at the very end of this. Maybe put the una corda for the pianissimo. because now they're inside.